Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, November 16, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We also have a signal service over at Patreon. At the current at the moment, we have over, around 70 traders uh, active on that service. And you get the full access to our commodity analysis as well if you join so welcome and the link is down below so we'll start by looking at the us dollar index and as you can see on friday we started uh, depreciating again and this had um, a positive effect on most commodities and precious metals and also on stock indices and so on so it was expected for the us dollar index to uh, to at least touch the, the 50 uh, moving average but we didn't even get close to the 50 moving average and that is a very bearish sign for this market that could mean that for in the next week we may see indices stocks precious metals and uh, and the commodities go much higher um, due to the fact that we'll have depreciation of the us dollar index so what we will target it is um, around here so around uh, 92 uh, will be our first support area if we break that then we go in all the way down to 91.7 and if we rally um, towards the 50 moving average it will be resistant and a break above the 50 moving average will open the door to 93 94 and then all the way up towards the 200 moving average but at this point we have turned around we're heading back towards the 92.3 level and then if that breaks we'll head towards 91. so pay attention to the us dollar index it is fairly important so we look at uh, oil so we had this massive rally for nearly one and a half week we have the announcement annunciation of the vaccine here and then we had additional rally afterwards and then we hit basically the uh, highs of the last basically the last two months which is a 43 dollars a barrel and that is basically too much for this market that is way over valued and we basically just touched uh, the edge of this uh, re resistant area and then broke down so this is a really nasty and bearish candlestick and as you can see we have been gradually going lower towards the 50 moving average so this has been a fairly tricky market to um, to trade it should have been easy because there's just not that much demand in the world economy so you should um, should have expected this market to they go lower but there's just so much noise and news uh, all the time about a vaccine and about treatments and about this and that that uh, you know from time to time you basically see this and it basically uh, catches uh, most traders off guard because you're expecting a gradual decline to uh, the 30 dollar range and then you all of a sudden have this explosive uh, move to the upside for no no apparent reason um people don't use more um oil or gas today uh, than they did prior to the announcement to the to the vaccine they use more when basically the economy go uh, does better so this move here was pure speculation and at this point i'm guessing that we are going to touch the 50 moving average that is going to break and we are going back to the previous levels uh, before the pronunciation of this vaccine if you look at the technical indicators, they're all still looking fairly negative at this point. Uh, both the stochastic CCI and the RSI are pointed to lower levels. And it's only the MACD that is basically showing signs that we are basically above the signal line. So it'll probably take one more two, two trading days for the to the MACD to, to cross the signal line and go significantly lower. So there's no reason to expect a rally in this market. It could happen, but I think at this point, a war in the Middle East or or something similar to that is basically the only thing that can make this market break these levels here. Um, 
all the good news that could have gone out has basically gone out. And as you can see, we're going back to the downside. Reality is world economy does not have the demand at this moment in order to pressure this price higher. So and as long as the um, coronavirus is just getting better, worse and worse, we'll see lower levels in the, uh, the commodities market, precious, or in the oil market specifically. So we look at natural gas. So we did rally quite significantly on Friday and then broke down. So this is not a good sign. And I think it got caught a lot of traders off guard that we rallied above the previous highs and then we basically broke down. Now we're trading below the previous highs. At this point, we probably go back towards the 50 moving average. And that is what I am hoping for. We still have this we still have this trend line here, which uh, we tested uh, only uh, five trading days ago. And at this point, I think that we are going to retest it again. If it breaks, then we'll test the 50 moving average, and that will most likely be a major support. There, This trading trend line has been very reliable for a very long time now, all the way back to July. We have basically been bouncing off this trend line. So... At this point, that is what I think is going to happen. And uh, you technically look at, at a sign of a of a, a candlestick touching this and move it to a trend line, and then another one that is positive right above. That is a signal that we are about to go higher. And highs are basically to test these uh, highs here of the, uh, the resistance here of the highs. So technical indicators for this are fairly mixed. Uh, we have three of them that are bullish, the stochastic, the CCI, and the RSI, while the MACD is still underneath the signal line and is looking fairly bearish at this point. Um, the same goes for the stochastic. You can basically say it is turning around at this point. So if this were to break the signal line as well, then we probably see this go towards the 50 moving average. So let's look at platinum, uh, pallium. Palladium, I'm sorry. So this was a trade that I was, was uh, looking to make, but uh, it didn't move anywhere on Friday. So we have this very um, historical, uh, supportive trend line here. And the best thing for this market is basically to go towards this trend line and then bounce from it. That will be the optimal um, price level to basically enter this market for a buy. It is quite risky at this point. We could basically bounce from the 50 moving average. That is possible. We are trading underneath the 50 moving average at this point. So a move towards this trend line and then bouncing would be um, would be fantastic. And you will basically target these very highs at that point. A break below this trend line opens the door to the 200 moving average. And if you look at the technical indicators for for uh, palladium, then they are all looking very bearish at this point. So both the MACD, the Stochastic, the CCI, and the RSI all are pointed to uh, to um, to lower levels in, in this price, and that could mean that we would see next week a move towards this trend line. So a uh, bounce from here is basically what we're looking for. It is basically two. And risky to enter here. If you enter a buy here, it could break down to this trend line and it could also break towards the 200 moving average and then you would basically be stuck. So if you look at gold, so gold rallied on Friday session and this has mainly to do to the uh, depreciation of the US dollar. And as you can see, we'll probably have another run at this 50 moving average. So we have been Testing the 50 moving average constantly going lower, lower, lower. And we are just going very gradually lower to the downside. When we try to basically rally above the 50 moving average, this happens. So there just isn't that momentum in this market for a rally above this area here. So this was previous resistance. 
you can see how often we tried we were in this area for in the august and july and also mid uh, beginning of september we tried to do it again and broke down significantly now we're trying to rally up towards the 50 moving average and if that breaks we'll probably hit this area again and then break down so don't expect this market to rally anytime soon and if it does rally this is probably what you are in for so what we're looking for in this market is a break towards the that 1800 level if that happens that is a long-term investment that you basically hold on for a very long time and we're talking about weeks and months because this market is going to go higher we are going to see more um more monetary expansionary monetary policy from central banks around the world and that will uh, that will be a bullish shine for this market we can just see what technically happened when um, central banks really started pumping their money into the system this market just went completely bananas and in order for the world economy to basically go back to a um, state where once prior to the coronavirus, um, then you have to have a lot of quantitative easing and a lot of a um, lot of uh, liquidity, more more liquidity into the market. So that will probably take time, but it will mostly happen. The thing is to is to basically get the best price for for gold, and at this point it is around eighteen hundred level, and uh, just as close to the 200 moving average as possible. If you look at technical indicators, you can see that the that the uh, MACD is basically trading underneath the signal line. Uh, we have the stochastic crossing, and the CCI is fairly bullish, and the RSI is technically flat. So I think that we'll just see more of the same. Of course, if the US dollar starts to depreciating significantly more, then we will most likely see uh, test of the 50 moving garage and probably a break above here and then back down if we break try to test the area i think that we'll see just a lot of more of this so if you look at silver we can see that silver has also rallied quite significantly we are testing at the we tested the 50 moving average and then we broke down again and now we're just underneath the 50 moving average but silver market is very similar to the gold market as it has a massive resistant area right above here. And every time we have basically got close to this area, then we have basically broke down again. So at this point, technical indicators are fairly bullish, but fairly mixed to be fair on. The stochastic is, you know, the MACD is basically flat. The stochastic is fairly flat. It is crossing the signal line, however. The RCCI is looking fairly bullish at this point, and the RSI is fairly flat. So expect more of the same. We could rally. If we go back to this area here, we'll probably break down again. But at this point, I do think that we need to go back towards the $20 range in order to enter this market for a long time in long-term investment. Um, I just don't see how we can get through this area without the US dollar completely collapsing underneath uh, 91. So uh, just keep that in mind. So we look at Kakoa. Kakoa rallied on Friday session and at this point we'll probably go back towards the, uh, the 200 moving average or even close to the 200 moving average and then go back down. Technical indicators for Kakoa are looking uh, looking better. They are fairly more bullish now than they were prior to uh, obviously on, on Thursday. So we have rallied up towards the 50 moving average, broke down again, rallied up towards the 50 moving average, and now we had a rally back towards the 200 moving average. At this point, we are in the middle of nowhere saying this for several weeks now we have the highs of the 2.7 we have the very lows of 2.0 and we are basically in the middle of nowhere we also have this mid-range here of 2.5 and then we have lows here of 2.2 so we're in just in the middle of things 
And as long as that is the case, then this is not a market that I would enter. It is possible to trade this range. And um, at this moment, every single time we rally up towards the 200 or the 50 moving average, that is a selling opportunity as it has been um, been behaving for the last few weeks. But the ultimate trade is basically to get down here to 2.0 or to get up here to 2.7 because this is a this is a massive buying opportunity. This is a massive selling opportunity. So until that happens, I will just stay away from this market. And it is not completely impossible to trade it because, as you can see, a pullback to from these um, these moving averages is a shorting opportunity. So we look at sugar. We can see that we rallied quite significantly on Thursday, and then we try to rally again on Friday, but we find the same resistant area here every single time. And as long as that is the case, as we have tried tested it now four times or five times, then I think that we are going to go towards the 50 moving average. So around this area here. So we have been a we have been in a bullish run since all the way since mid September and now we're just trading sideways and what we are looking for is basically a break towards the 50 moving average in order to enter this market for a buy in. We are in the uptrend. There is no reason to think that the market is going to break the 50 moving average. Uh, we also have this massive trend line here and if we were to break the 50 moving average this area this is the trend line that we'll basically be focusing on so keep in mind a pullback towards the 50 moving average and rally that is a buying opportunity a break uh beneath the 50 moving average towards this trend line and then rallying is even a better trade than the trade at the 50 moving average so this trade is um a probably a few weeks away if we don't have an absolute collapse of the of the sugar market so probably one two probably three weeks away until we basically get towards this 50 moving average or this trend line here and that is your buying opportunity looking at technical indicators here they are fairly they are looking well how do you say it mixed um MACD is basically flat at this point. The stochastic is basically flat at this point. But the CCI is showing signs of weakness. It is showing signs that we are basically going to roll over here and go back down. And that is mainly due to this, uh, this uh, fairly bearish candlestick on Friday. The RSI is, taking, is flat at this point, but there is a lot of room to the downside. We're at 59 at this point. So we're just waiting for a pullback towards this area. It may take a long time because, as you can see, we have been trading sideways for several weeks now. So, if you look at wheat. Now, this is a more interesting market. And this is probably a market that I will enter on Monday. As you can see, we are just on the edge of the 50 moving average. We broke below, pulled back, and then rallied. And at this point, if we have a, a green candlestick here on Monday session, that is a fairly clear signal that this market is about to go higher. So a rally from here opens the door to 612 or thereabout, and then 635. And a break below the 50 moving average opens the door to the 200 moving average. So this is a, mar this is a market that is um, very interesting as it has been... Um, it has been uh, bouncing off this trend line and also bouncing off the 50 moving average. So this is a very good sign for this market and that it most likely will rally. Uh, I don't know how significantly, but but if you get a green candlestick here on, on the Monday session, this is definitely a market that is possible to buy. So if you look at cotton, we can see that we continue our decline towards the 50 moving average. And this is also a market that is very interesting because of this 
historical trend line here that we are about to test. It is right on the 50 moving average and a break towards this trend line here and a bounce would signal a buying opportunity. If you look at technical indicators now, they are still looking very negative, but the CCI is showing signs of life. So when this turns around and heads towards the down zero point again, that is a sign that we are probably going to buy into this market. We need a test of this this um, this trend line, another green candlestick just above here, and then we'll basically target these areas of 0 0.7 and then 0 0.72. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And uh, you're welcome to come over and join us on our signal service. Uh, we have already... Um, around 70 traders trading there and using our service and you get full access to our um, technical analysis if you do as well. So good luck and thank you very much.